in the beautiful Missouri countryside lies a little town called Alma. Join me in this series as we make five million dollars and build the ultimate farm. We're taking our shot, bring what you got, we're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd, everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want to be, going on stage headline on a Saturday night. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Saturday, Saturday night. night. And it's the five million dollar challenge and welcome back to alma as we are heading over to the new sheep pen as part of our farm we acquired this farm and we have not actually used it yet or this uh cow barn over here on the left either but that will come later for this episode we're going to focus on getting the sheep pen fully stocked up with food and get at least half of our sheep moved over from our current sheep pen as it is all filled up now what we need is either grass or alfalfa so i want to check this field here because it's the closest one to the sheep pen and it is not quite ready to be mowed yet so uh let's head over to the other uh, farm and see if we have any uh, grass fields or alfalfa fields that are ready to be mowed I went ahead and grabbed the fit tractor and our new haul and beller. Uh, so that if we do come across any uh, grass fields or alfalfa fields that are ready to be mowed, we can go ahead and bell those up and take those bells back over to the sheep pen. We're over here at the other farmyard and our alfalfa field on this farm is ready to be mowed. So let's get a mower set up and start mowing the alfalfa so we can get it belled up. We are going to use the modern vent on with these mowers to get this all mowed up and then we'll come along with the bell or get it all built up. But let me turn this over to a worker uh, so we can get started on a couple other things because we have a lot to get done in August, including harvesting crops. We got to plant our canola and our canola fields are not even remotely ready to be planted yet. So we have a lot to get done for August. And looping back to the harvesting, we have a very large field here to harvest, but I was about ready to grab the header and I realized we're almost out of fuel. So I'm gonna take this uh, new haul over here and refill it and then we will get started on the harvesting. So we're gonna let the uh, new haul and get filled up here, which will take a while because it has a huge tank. Um, but we're checking out the sheep here because we are at capacity. And we're going to go ahead and move uh, some of the sheep over to the other pin now. Um, however, this will put us on a timer as because there is currently no food in that sheep pin. So for every hour that passes in game, our sheep will start losing health. So we will want to get uh, get the food over there as fast as possible. So I think the plan is we're going to do is we're going to move all of the adult sheep, all the female sheep and the ram over. Uh, to the other sheep pen and then we're gonna leave all the baby lambs here um, However, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the young rams Go ahead and sell those now because we don't really uh, have a need for them and uh, It brings in a little bit of revenue which we need the harvester is all fueled up and ready to go and uh, we're gonna turn this over to a worker and uh, let them take care of this field for us because like I said, we have a lot to go on, a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot to get done. And I do have it set up to where the uh, they will only do straw swaths on the headlands. Uh, just because, well, with the workers, if you have swaths on the headlands and they're building it up, it's like, it's just an accident waiting to happen. 
And I grabbed the glass here because we're gonna grab our sprayer and we're gonna put some lime down. You're going, wait, lime sprayer? Yes, that's right, we're using liquid lime. And because it's a, it's just a lot more cost effective, a lot more efficient, and uh, it's just a, a great option. And let me see, I'm, let me just make sure that we can use that with the, uh, nope, this fill station does not support that, which is fine. We will have to buy the pallets. Um, but yes, yeah, so we want to get, uh, right now we just have to focus on the canola fields because those are our priority because this is the month to plant the canola. And so we need to get that done. We have other fields that need to be limed and fertilized, but we will do them later. Uh, right now our priority is feeding the sheep and getting um, the canola fields ready to go. So let me just see here. Ah, oh, here we go. Liquid lime. Um, yeah, let's get that. So I think, let's go ahead and get two of them. There we go. Pay the delivery fee, totally worth it. Saves the time. So let me get these loaded up into here and then we're gonna head over to the other farm and uh, start liming the canola fields. I know I've been saying for a couple episodes now, we need to put a path in over here. We need to put a path in. Well, guess what? We have our path in, we put it in. And this is gonna help out a lot on saving time when we're jumping between farms now because we have access out the backside of the farm over to our other farm. Made it over here to the large canola field. Got our course play laid in. Let's change this over to first waypoint. There we go. And we're gonna let the worker get this done for us. Uh, there should be more than enough uh, lime in here to take care of this field. You set the cruise control on this. So uh, let's put it there right around 25. Yeah, that should do it. Awesome. So let's, let me grab our uh, flatbed truck and we're gonna head uh, over and pick up some bales. And just pulling up back here on the backside of the farm in our flatbed. And uh, yeah, looks like the mower is, working with the mower is all done. So we're going to get started on the belling and then we'll use this to transport some of those bells over to the sheep and get them uh, fed. But before we do that, we need to head over here and unload the worker because they have come to a stop because they are all filled up here. So let me get this lined up here. We'll get Betty unloaded so uh, she can get back to uh, harvesting this field. Got the belter up and running here and we are belling up alfalfa to get our sheep fed. Uh, so the plan for this is we're gonna probably just bell up the first couple of headlands maybe all three and take those bells over and get our sheep fed the rest of it we'll keep over here on this farm for keeping these sheep fed because over on the other farm we have our alfalfa field over there and it will be ready to be mowed in a month so we don't need a ton of food from this field and because most of the uh, alfalfa in this field is going to stay on this farm i have the worker doing the up and down rows and oh my goodness that is the slowest turn i have ever seen are you trying to race a tortoise we're for rabbit mode here we're not in tortoise mode my goodness i need to find better helpers these guys are just slow got the first two headlands all bailed up we're gonna hop in the flatbed because our worker is starting to run into the bells already I mean, seriously, could you not see the bell there and drive around it? My goodness. Um, but let's get this uh, loaded up onto our truck. We'll get everything on the headlands that we've already bailed up, loaded up, and we're gonna take it over to the other farm and get our sheep fed because it has been a couple hours and their health is dropping fast. So we wanna get them fed as fast as possible. We are here in the smaller Massey and uh, also the older Massey, and we're gonna use this to uh, get our bells loaded up and get our sheep fed. And I'm gonna come around and uh, what's this coming from this side? It's bigger, it's better. Oh, I have to open this door too. There we go, bigger entrance. All right, let's uh, start uh, right here. There we go, get this level leveled out there and perfect. 
All right. So we got uh, one of the conveyor belts loaded up with some food. So let's get the rest of these bells um, put in and get our sheep fed. And here is the final bell. We'll just drop this off there. There we go. All right. The sheep are all fed, ready to go. Got our bell forks all folded up there so I don't poke myself. Because those things hurt, by the way. All right, so we have about 104,000 liters of alfalfa for our sheep, and that should definitely make them happy, much happier, um, and much healthier. All right, so with uh, the sheep fed, and we have workers working all over the place, and I'm taking the turn way too early here. I'm gonna go up here. Uh, I think we are in a good spot here. We have everyone working, although I do need to go empty uh, Betty, but um she has a full harvester but uh for now we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up this episode here and i want to thank you for watching uh if you have not already be sure and hit that like button and be sure and hit that bell so you get notified of future episodes and uh i hope you have a wonderful day and over here on the right there is a little link there to our next series so be sure and go check that out and i hope to see you over there and you have a wonderful day